it, it can be a little bit difficult, especially if you don't have support systems in place to help you be okay with who you are. Durham police say crimes against the LGBTQ are often underreported. They want to change that, so they established the Safe Place program. Any business with this logo on is a safe space where victims of crimes can wait until police arrive. This new program is especially close to one Durham officer's heart. CBS 17's Derek Lewis is digging deeper into this new push tonight. The duties for Charles Strickland go beyond patrolling the streets. Durham Police Chief C.J. Davis depends on Strickland, an openly gay officer, to be her eyes and ears for the LGBTQ community. For me personally, it shows that, hey, there's a department that cares about diversity, and it shows that you matter no matter who you are. Officer Strickland tells me Davis asked him to research safe places after seeing them pop up in other cities around the country. Several cities launched the initiative after a gunman killed 49 people in a gay nightclub in 2016. After the Pulse nightclub shooting, um, there was just a need for outreach to the community and to show that law enforcement was, was there for them. Strickland has been with law enforcement in Durham for 13 years. Through professional and personal experiences, he feels people in the LGBTQ community are more likely to have mistrust of police. That's why he's all for safe places. What is it like growing up gay and why is this safe place initiative something that's very important? Well, I think within the, the community you can get so many messages, especially for young people, that you're not okay, that you're not accepted, that you're wrong simply for being. That seeing something like this, especially an initiative coming from a police department, shows that there is a community which supports you and will rally around you no matter what you're facing at home or in other circumstances in your life. Strickland tells me in his life he's experienced discrimination because of his sexual orientation. I'd be happy to say there were no safe places for gay people if they weren't necessary, but, but the fact of it is in this day and age, it's necessary. Officer Strickland says he would have loved to have safe places around when he was growing up, but now with his work here at the department, he is focusing on making the next generation feel safer. In Durham, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS 17 News.